G'day everyone, welcome back to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel we do a whole lot of medieval analysis. We look at the events, we look at the people, the culture, the religion, the causes, who were the key players and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Popularised by Hollywood and a small screen and many, many books over all sorts of centuries, um, the Crusades have become a fascination, a culture, and unfortunately they're very poorly understood, often even by those who, who portray them. And this, I guess, has led to my video today, and I want to start looking at uh, the Crusades in a fairly in-depth manner. I'm going to be doing this as a, a kind of warts and all a look at who were some of the key characters, who were some of the, um, the leaders, what, were the, what was it like to go on crusade, why did people go on crusade. I want to look at um, what were the achievements and what were the costs of crusades. I, I guess what was the, the legacy of the crusades as well. But before we get into any of that, let's start with what was a crusade. Okay, so we know the Crusades came about after centuries of military conflict within the Middle East especially, but also kind of the Near East, uh, even parts of Africa, and then into Europe itself around what is today places like Italy and France, the Iberian coastline and so on. The Holy Roman Church fell under a great deal of pressure and Byzantine Empire was indeed under a great deal of pressure too. The Byzantine Empire, its capital in Constantinople, uh, was, was definitely under direct threat and had um, written to Pope Urban II, um, essentially pleading for help uh, in the form of, I guess, um, Norman knights is really what I guess they had in mind. Um, Obviously, I, I guess they would have heard about the success of the Norman Knights in the conquest of England by um, William the Conqueror. And I, I guess the, the Byzantines envisaged a fairly well-armed cavalry unit to be able to take on the Seljuk Turks, which were harassing the uh, and posing a great threat to Constantinople. And so Pope Urban II... Uh, eventually, at the uh, Council of Clermont, um, declared the Crusades. Now let's take a look at exactly what was a Crusade. There are some very key features here which has led to a great amount of misunderstanding and I suppose very strong emotions over the years. First of all, um, the war had to be um, supported by the Holy Roman Church. In other words, it had to have a papal banner and it needed to be declared by the Pope. So, history tells us that William the Conqueror had a, Pope, a papal banner during his invasion of England. Now, there's a little bit of contention around that, but it does suggest that um, the church supported William's invasion of England. Uh, now, that doesn't make it a crusade, though. So, what does... What were some of the other kind of attributes to a crusade? Well, the next key focus here is it needed to be about retaking Christian lands. So, key words there are retaking Christian lands. Now, this was not a war between Christianity and the Muslims. And, in fact, um, there were quite a number of battles where great numbers of Christians peaceful Christians were killed by the Crusaders. 
battles around Constantinople, for instance, and also um, the initial take of Jerusalem. There are two massive examples there of um, the slaughter of Christians by the Crusaders. You also have um, many Jews were killed by Crusaders and, and so on and so forth. And if you look at some of the later Crusades, now historians do debate around, I guess, whether or not some of these were in fact a crusade in the true sense or not. Um, but if you look at some of the crusades in Europe itself, especially around uh, you know, the conflicts with the Cathars, for instance, then um, you, you see, I guess, um, was that really a crusade in the true sense? It certainly had been uh, given the support by the, the Roman Catholic Church. We're going to look at some of these in a bit more detail further on down the track. Okay, um, but it was about retaking Christian land. So many of these lands were in fact Christian uh, and had been taken by the Muslims. I'm talking really about places like what is modern day Syria, modern day Iran, modern day Egypt, modern day Iraq. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. So some really big important events were taking place there and um, this was about creating safe passage for Christian pilgrims into the Holy Land. Now only 30 years before the Council of Clermont there was a large band of pilgrims we believe around about um, but a key feature of the Crusades was in the words of Pope Urban II to create safe passage for Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land. So there we have it, essentially the three key foundations of a crusade. One needed to be supported by the Roman Catholic Church. Number two needed to be about retaking Christian lands and number three it needed to be about creating safe passage for Christians to the Holy Land and back. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.